Hey guys, welcome to set five between Rancor and Masuchi. Cross spawn positions, which potentially opens up bold, uh, bold build orders for both players. Overlord moving to the south first and to the north first for Masuchi. This is going to be, did I, I think I already mention it, game five, Fighting Spirit Mania, Rancor versus Masuchi. It feels like it's been months of Rancor versus Masuchi probably at this stage of things. I still feel like this has been a great set. I'm really glad that I picked this one. Uh, I'm going to say I feel, in a lot of other arenas in my life, I feel not very smug. And I feel a little bit uh, humbled, I will say. Pretty much every other arena of my life. Being able to actually pick Rancor versus Misuchi, and knowing that it is like a good... Uh, having it turn out to be a good set. Yeah. It's the small wins, right? You got to cling to. Anyway. Overlord... Producing for Masuchi, bottom left-hand corner. Overlord, upper right-hand corner for Rancor. So Rancor may be opting to go for a 12 pool this time, which would be fantastic. We will have to see. Either way, it looks like he's not going for... It looks like he is going to go for overpool. A little bit more economically feasible. It looks like Masuchi, I assume, because we've seen it so many times from him at this stage. Well, it's possible this Overlord's not crossing paths here. So it's possible he is once again going to go... For, yeah, the 12th... No, he's going 12th pool. He's not going to bother with 12th hatch at this instance. Spawning pool being built. What we've seen Rancor do when he hasn't gotten the Overlord Scout on the corner many times is to build drones rather than going for the Zerglings to go ahead and go for an early Spire. So Extractor's going to be up. I expect him to go for that level of play. But the drone count will favor Masuchi early. He won't be that far behind if he goes for Quick Tech Lair. But the question is, is does Rancor plop down a drone and build a Sunken Colony in his base uh, immediately? And it, kind of the timing of it and a lot of other factors along those lines. It looks like he is, in fact, yeah, dropping... Whoa, getting a little bit disturbed there. No, he's opting to... Okay, building two drones and opting to go ahead, morphing to Lair very rapidly. Expansion's been grabbed for Masuchi, so it's going to be a Tech Rush versus Ground... And this... This isn't an exact flip of the previous match. Six Zerglings being built, but this isn't a scenario where Masuchi's going to have to get aggressive on the ground to deal with Rancor's potential air flood. Rancor, several matches ago, dropped a sudden something colony and found really good timing with it to repel that attack and just seemed to be able to balance it. Oh, shoot, we lost. We might have lost audio because of my headset. It's actually funny with the... Sorry for everyone where the game audio... Let's see if I pull it. There it goes. Woo! Uh, it's the small things. Basically because of weird audio... I won't get into that right this second. I'll continue to, ca uh, to cast the game. But Rancor just pumping the drones, knowing that he's got those protective sunken colonies. Six Zerglings on the corner. Still no scout for Masuchi. Sing sending out a single Zergling to go ahead and keep an eye on what is going on out there in the field. It looks like he has produced eight Overall, that is easily repelled. So yeah, that initial Zergling dying. The Spire in the back corner, and there's a second Hatchery. Second in-base Hatchery to keep up potentially with Larva. Masuchi immediately moving out. He's got eight, potentially nine Zerglings to engage this with. There was a cancel of Larva here, which is going to be problematic. A second Creep Colony dropping. I don't know if it's going to be in time or not. The Zergling's starting to move in. This Creep Colony has got some time to morph. Rancor is about halfway off the Spire timing. Masuchi moving in. Sunken Colony is morphing. It's exposed, however. The drones are not pulling off the line. A little bit of damage. Some drones taking some damage on that corner. They're now working on that Sunken Colony that's morphing. Zergling's coming across. The drone's not engaging very rapidly. However, there's only five Zerglings left. Sorry, take that back. Four Zerglings left. Masuchi responding by droning up heavily. He does have his layer up. It is possible he's just going to, yeah, move to Evolution Chamber. Play the game from here. Spire is just about finished. So Rancor, at the very least, is going to have air superiority to potentially take out some overlords. I don't know that he's going to have the timing to go ahead and take out these creep colonies. And we've seen Masuchi, I, I don't want to say every single time, that he has pushed back into this match from the Evolution Chamber branch of build that he's won it. But we've seen him do it several times. Spore Colony morphing at the main. 
and the natural expansion. Two of them there. Overlords gathering. There is one overlord that's straying that is currently not visible. Mutalisks in the air. Rancor is going to hold that count, but Masuchi surging ahead in the drone count. Rancor has the larva, but critically he doesn't have access to that second gas. The Mutalisks fanning out, looking for overlords. Not able to find it. It's, it's fleeing midfield. And they're, they're hunting. They're on the hunt. Rancor feeling confident he can go ahead with Masuchi's defensive position, grab his third. That's going to put him up a hatchery. Spire on the way for Masuchi in the interim. But it looks like Masuchi's overlord. This feels like a movie of some kind. It's like behind enemy lines. The slow Zeppelin move across the map. Can they avoid? And this is like the climax moment where it becomes a tragedy. No. Overlord gets taken out. So that's getting worked on there. In the meantime, a huge amount of Zerglings for Masuchi. This natural expansion is going to be exposed for Rancor. So it's going to be difficult. Oh, and he's got an idle drone. Needs to not do that. Spires there is working on the Carapace upgrade. That is one advantage he's going to have is that Spire is up for a longer period of time. But Masuchi has air superiority and honestly ground superiority. Rancor somehow up a drone in the midst of all this. If Rancor can somehow hold this hatchery position, get his second gas up, he's got his work cut out for them, though. And we've seen Masuchi do such a fantastic job, game and basically pretty much every game. He's gone this Evolution Chamber build. Extractor plopping down for him. Rancor grabbing that Extractor just about at the dead even timing. These guys, so good at this game. Just, I don't know. It's like, how do they know? Are they just following build order? I don't, it's just, it boggles. It boggles my mind. Rancor for the moment, up. Two drones. More Mutalisks in the air. A couple Scourge patrolling here in there as well. Armor working there. Masuchi starting to field his initial Mutalisks. Rancor a little bit behind in overall supply, but keep in mind a lot of that is in Zerglings. And a really wide... Look at this vision for Rancor right now. Oops. Look at this vision for Rancor. He's got really stuff all over the place. If he can respond rapidly, I think that'll pay off for him. But right now, having this Mutalisk army split, I think is somewhat dangerous. Fielding seven right now. Looks like Masuchi has equalized that. Rancor is still managing to stay ahead. Does have that second gas. He's got additional larva to work with. A third hatchery now being grabbed from Masuchi to equalize things. And so as we are moving into the mid-game, as things stand, Rancor up some drones, down some Zerglings, doesn't have, in my opinion, as suitable a defense at his various expansions, does have the Mutalisk upgrade, though. And is he continuing with that pattern? Yeah, he's going to get armor, too. So should be able to stay ahead. Zergling scouting the upper left-hand corner, making sure a sneaky expansion wasn't grabbed. Mutalisk is now moving out from Masuchi. Is this Zergling bait? The Zergling checking that 12 o'clock location. Mutalisk flying across. Looks like they are going to go ahead and pick that off. Full control group in the air for Rancor. Single Zergling also checking that 3 o'clock location. Let's see if Rancor moves there momentarily. And now another creep colony being dropped at the natural expansion. It looks just about dead even here. A, a few more Mutalisks in the air. For Rancor, but keep in mind that is somewhat negated by the Spore Colonies. However, even so, if you can take a fight over the natural expansion and have some of those Glaives hit drones. Especially if you get level 2 armor. Oh, Zergling able to sneak through the lines for Masuchi. Going to walk into the main. Does get taken out, but gets all sorts of scouting information. Which is huge at this stage of the match. Masuchi ahead in supply. I think ahead in ground defense. Just behind in upgrade. And even then, it's not going to factor for quite some time. Armor 2 about halfway finished. Zerglings scouting out the 9 o'clock. A Scourge scouting out... Sorry, Scourge scouting out 9. Zergling scouting 6. And the army continues to build. 
on both sides of the field. This is actually a gap in my ZVZ knowledge, is I wonder at what point, at what numbers, do spore colonies no longer mean anything, as far as just raw mutaflox that are overhead? Because we are getting, I assume we are getting close to that point. Rancor managing to macro up. As far as the macro battle goes, he's at 81. I wonder if he's going to pull the trigger as Armor 2 completes. Is sneaking a lot of drones in the midst of this. I like that Masuchi broke off just seven Mutalisks then, rather than his entire Mutalisk army, wanted to disguise his numbers, but also two to make sure that a counterattack didn't happen in the midst there. Rancor sweeping the three o'clock base. He's going to try to play the economic aggression game. You got to come to me. That means he's going to have territory to a lot of territory to defend. Let's see if he moves. Yeah, he's moving some Zerglings forward to try to keep an eye should Mutalisk start moving out. Another Zergling moving out for Masuchi. So Rancor, if he can cap and hold this base, that will be the winning economic advantage. Somehow dropping those 300 minerals, still ahead in supply and ahead in drones. Don't know how that entirely works, to be honest. Zergling running up. This Zergling, a Slowby falling behind. Zergling speed not upgraded. This Zergling needs to be taken out immediately. If it moves into that 9 o'clock base, that is going to be devastating. I don't think Rancor saw it. And so the Zergling spots the 3 o'clock. Doing a little bit of damage here, but that gives a big amount of info to Masuchi. Level 2 armor just coming online, though. So I don't know that Masuchi can capitalize. His level 2 is a ways off. He's going to Hive in the midst of this and might be able to pull it off. If you can get Hive down, you can go to Devourer. If you want to go Greater Spire, we've seen him opt for that. However, if you can get a Defiler Mound in Plague, nothing survives that. That red goop on your opponents, devastating. Creep Colony being dropped at the 3 o'clock location. Drones being produced, potentially, to get that third gas. But if Rancor does not strike before that tier 3 tech comes into play, it could be for nothing, potentially. One, one Defiler out with some Plague can be all the difference. A handful, like a Devourer, even two Devourers, can turn the tide in big air fights. But it's a ways off both of those situations. Rancor still with the supply lead. Zergling starting to flood out as Masuchi looking to potentially take his additional base. The Mutaflock moving across. There are a lot, ooh, a lot of Zerglings already positioned there. This Zergling is going to intercept the Zergling Swarm as it's moving to the 3 o'clock base. The Mutalus is going to get some free kills. Gas trying to be disrupted. No dice there. And Masuchi sacrificing a lot of Zerglings. Might free up some supply. Also... The hatchery taking damage at the 9 o'clock. Two Zerglings moving up. I don't know how long that's going to last. The Mutaflock moving out. Not a full control group, though. 6 o'clock base, we have a drone sitting there. Greater Spire morphing. We saw this previously. Rather than opting for the Defiler Mound, a Greater Spire for Masuchi. If he can get some Defilers in this, could be a good play. And honestly, maybe throwing up these hatcheries is a bit of a distraction tactic. Trying to lure Rancor potentially into a false sense of security. That, yeah, you can go ahead and macro up. You're ahead. I'm trying to catch up. When, in fact, Hive is being morphed. More Mutalists being built. Level 1 weapons going to come online momentarily. The Greater Spire on the verge of finishing. This looks like three full control groups. Zerglings also distracting. So Masuchi buying himself time here. By throwing out a variety of forays, also taking expansions that I don't even know that he's planning to mine out of. More or less to try to distract Rancor. Oops, accidentally attacking his own creep colony there. And potentially just keep him back as his. He's going to go with five. Five Devourers are morphing. Devourers make Glaives do more damage. They also reduce the rate of fire of opposing units. He is mining at the 9 o'clock location. These Mutalists are going to go wipe that out. An Evolution Chamber being dropped. Keep in mind, though, I'm not even going to watch this because this is just gone. Level 2 armor, level 1 weapons, opposite side, 
The fleet engaging now. The Devourers are there. So it is going to be Mutaball versus Mutaball. Unfortunately, Rancor did not have the full grouping. And Devourers also take an immense amount of damage. There is Purple Goo absolutely everywhere. More Mutals grouping up. And I think Masuchi with the Tech Switch might have had more in the midst of this. There's GG from Rancor being too distracted, not capitalizing, and not able to stop the tech switch. So Masuchi goes up three games to two, and we are going to game number six. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.